Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this cleaning video. Y'all look at my house. It is ridiculous and I really really needed to get to it and but I felt so busy this week. I know you guys understand but as moms I just felt like pulled in every direction. I feel like everybody needs help <laughs> and um, I wasn't able to like get this big block of time to like clean and get everything done and it was just annoying me like crazy. So um, I ended up uh, cleaning my kitchen on this particular night and interestingly enough um, I had went to my women's group so this was later on in the evening probably close to like 9 or 10 o'clock and I was cleaning up my kitchen trying to get everything done and I thought I'll just work and work until my motivation is gone. Interestingly enough in the middle of it people needed things and you know I was still needed to kind of be a mom so um, I ended up my camera battery died and I ended up falling asleep so that was all I got done that day and I almost uh, kind of cut it off and put it into two videos or something but I really wanted to put it out there that you know sometimes like your plan doesn't go the way you want it to go but that's okay um, the next day I came in after I got back um, in the evening and I picked up and did uh, my plan and kind of got everything done and it was later on in the evening after everybody had gone to bed as well but I at least I got everything done and so I kind of just wanted to put that out there in the universe that sometimes it's like we're trying to get to our house we're trying to get to our house but people are always more important people are always more important than housework even though I would like my house to be clean 24 7 I mean wouldn't we all so on this particular day I really just wanted to include both of them because I just thought it was so relevant to this day and we we're running around um, just busy as ever probably the busiest generation of moms and you know trying to kind of do everything and we really need to understand that we don't have to do everything all we have to do is um, love on our families and people are always more important so I wanted to put that out there as well as give you guys some cleaning motivation. So what ended up happening too is that I ended up cleaning my kitchen as you can see, doing all my dishes and my husband kind of helped me a little bit and um, the next day I kind of had to do some more. You all know what I mean, like after I made dinner, after we went through the next day, I had more stuff to do. So that is why you'll see me kind of clean up my kitchen almost twice. but that is okay that is just how it went this week for me and I still wanted to be real and share that and give you guys some real cleaning motivation um, to help you if you're kind of in that situation too where you feel like you can't get everything done and you need to get everything done so hold yourself to a standard of grace always and not a standard of perfection and I will try to be quiet as we go through this cleaning video. I hope this gives you some much needed motivation. And um, don't forget to comment away and subscribe if this is your first time here.
So this is something I started doing. Um, my halos that I buy, the big bags were going bad and we weren't eating them all. And I realized that if I took a little bit of time and like while I was watching YouTube or something and just peeled them and put them in a bowl, that everybody in my family would eat them and they would grab them more than they would grab chips. I mean, doesn't that look so good? Oh my gosh. And I have now started doing that and really it does not take that long. Like I thought it was going to take forever and really it doesn't take but maybe a few YouTube videos if that and then I'm good and they grab those and they'll eat that whole thing in one sitting like my son and my husband. So I would rather them eat that than chips or, you know, junk food any day of the week. So I will sit there and, and peel it. So um, I just thought that was like a super fun tip to add in here because it's something I've never really thought of. And I always got mad because I felt like halos were kind of expensive. And if you're not eating them all, you know, that's just food waste. And I would have like two or three left that would almost go bad. And this way, like, we're going through them like crazy, and it's good for our bodies, and um, it was just something I never thought of before, and it has only really taken me, um, you know, just maybe five, ten minutes at a time, and so it wasn't that much time for a good result. So anyway, this is where I'm actually cleaning my kitchen the second time. These are all my dishes from this day. And um, I basically had cooked, I think, two meals on this particular day. And I'm surprised I don't actually have more dishes, interestingly enough. Um, it just doesn't seem like enough. But um, I just went ahead and loaded my dishwasher again and kind of got my kitchen back in order. And it was just something that just I needed to feel like my house was in order again. So it was worth it to stay up and be tired because I sometimes you just need that little bit of motivation to like push you through to the next day. And I just felt like I didn't want to go to sleep with it all being a mess all over again. So I wanted to kind of put that out there because sometimes I know, you know, we don't like to be tired and it's not good, but the reward is so much better in the end. If y'all feel me, like comment down below. But when your house is clean and everything's back in order, you just feel better. And I wanted to kind of put that out there because I thought that even though we're tired and we're, we're moms and we're doing everything for everyone else, it doesn't mean that like we still shouldn't get some kind of reward out of it and some satisfaction. And really, can you get any better satisfaction than cleaning out your sink? I love cleaning out my sink. That's just a side note. I know that's silly.
comment down below and let me know if this happens to you guys. These are all the dishes that came out of my living room. And something in the back of my head told me, don't start your dishwasher, you're gonna find more. And honestly, is it just me or does this happen to everyone where you start your dishwasher and then you find a glass somewhere? Or somebody had one in their room? Or you walk into your living room and there's a bowl or something in there, or your dining room. And on this particular day, I just knew that I should not start my dishwasher. <laughs> Uh, because I wanted to scour the house and make sure and I was correct because I had these few little dishes that came out of my living room at the time and I was very 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 glad that I did not start my dishwasher because it would have drove me crazy but I just feel like those things happen to all of us um, let me know if this happens to you because I swear it happens to me on the daily y'all and so at the end of this video, like I'm just going to clean out my sink again because you should do the jobs that give you the most satisfaction multiple times, right? And I love the way um, cleaning out my sink feels. I don't know, it's something about like um, just watering off all those suds and knowing that it's like fresh and clean. You'll also see that I'll put um, some essential oils in my garbage disposal and then I'll run some really hot water down there and that just takes away the smells. I learned that from the channel This Crazy Life and I really, really like it. It's such a good tip. And you'll see that I actually use the essential oils from Walmart because I feel like if I'm putting it down my sink, like I'm not going to use my expensive doTERRA nice oils just to go down my sink. So. Um, that kind I always just get from Walmart because, you know, we got to save money where we can, y'all. So um, here you'll see that I'm just kind of watering off everything and that is my favorite part, just watching everything go down the sink and then your sink is just shiny clean. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite um, chore that just like gives you the most satisfaction. I know this is silly, but it's my favorite one. It really does give me the most satisfaction. I wanted to mention that if y'all are new here, I usually put up cleaning videos on Sunday and Wednesday-ish. Like I think this one's going to end up going late Wednesday, but I usually try to put them up either um, to schedule at like 7 a.m or I put them to schedule at two in the afternoon. So be on the lookout for those. Hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload a video. And then I try to do at least one or two videos during the week um, to kind of round things out. But not all weeks that happens because, I mean, let's face it, we just have so much on our plates as moms in this generation that we definitely need some leeway on things. But I am so glad that you guys came over. I hope this video motivated you. I hope it um, just kind of gave you that little push over the edge to start in that room that you've been putting off. Or at least um, you'll know that you're not the only one that cleans at night when everybody goes to sleep because that is my MO. You'll know that, you know, we all get busy, you know, on certain days we can't get everything done and that was my last two days but the rewards are always there and oh my gosh I love the before and after shots it just makes me feel good in my soul y'all I don't know is that stupid but I love when my house just feels like clean and calm and nice and I know tomorrow it's gonna be crazy again but that's all right we are building memories and people are always more important than cleaning but gosh don't you love it when your house is clean look at all this oh nice wipe down countertops Woo. i will see you guys in my next brand new video bye for now